Good evening and welcome to my channel. So some time ago I found this comment on one of my videos and I've been thinking about it a lot recently. A bit too much, I guess you could say. Well, about that. So on my channel, I want to show you not only the good parts of my trip and modeling and all of that, but also some bad experiences that I've had. And uh, experiences too, but this one I think falls into the bad experiences category. So after switching to another modeling agency in China, my life improved quite a bit. My confidence, my happiness went up. Uh, I was getting more jobs and what's even better about that, I was getting more interesting jobs, like jobs that I liked more. And also my living situation was the best. I had the best roommate. Shout out to Masha. But something very sus started happening with my skin. Okay, let's start from the beginning. So I remember one day, sometime in January 2021, I started noticing these bumps on my forehead. It wasn't a huge deal, I mean, it wasn't even that visible, uh, but from that time I kind of started examining my skin more often just to see if it goes away. And in fact, it did not. So sometime in February, I kind of started panicking a little bit. That's actually when I started getting some strange looks from the makeup artists on my photo shoots. Some of them seemed very nice and genuinely concerned about it. They just asked me some questions about what happened to my skin and even tried giving me some skincare tips or recommending some products. But some were straight up rude about it. And uh, I remember one time one makeup artist made a huge scene out of it and uh, called some other people on set to take a look at my skin and uh, they were talking something in Chinese um, that I didn't understand. Maybe that's a good thing that I didn't understand, but it felt so embarrassing. But I don't blame them because I get it. It is my skin and I'm supposed to have a clear skin for a job and you know, I didn't have that, so they were disappointed. I started reading a lot on the internet about uh, skincare and uh, possible causes for acne. And I also bought some pretty popular skincare products to treat acne. So I started using this, uh, this, and something else. And somewhere around March, I believe, uh, I started taking pictures of my skin every single day just to see if the products do anything and if my skin condition changes. Well, it did change. Um, for the worse. This photo shoot was the exact time when things started going downhill for me. Hello, I'd like to interrupt today's program and ask you for a quick favor. Once again, in today's video, I'll be showing you some behind the scenes footage from some of my photo shoots. And just in case I get sued for doing this, uh, my mother will make a GoFundMe campaign to bail me out of jail. If I disappear from the internet, that's why, and check out the campaign. Thank you very much. Whoa, look at me. Okay, I'm such a vlogger. Okay, we just shot a few looks. We're in like in the middle of this place. I don't know how to describe this, but place where there are a lot of lakes, like small ones like this one. You see? And for some shots, I even stood in the lake, which was really nice because the water is really warm. Now we're walking somewhere to have lunch, but I don't know what we're having and where. Uh, 
the people just told me to come here for lunch but now i'm just sitting here alone nobody's here and i'm just sitting with all the food So my hairstyle at the time helped me hide my skin problems quite well. But if the hairstylist decided to put my bangs to the sides, uh, then that became a problem because the makeup couldn't really hide this uh, that well anymore. So my job was over and I was very relieved. But what I didn't know is that in around an hour or so, my agency would be getting the first ever complaint from the client about my skin. So this job that I had was not in the city where I was living at the time, but in another city, uh, Guangzhou. Well, actually not in the city, but close to it. And the next job that I was supposed to have the next day was also in the same city, Guangzhou. So my agency decided that I should stay in the hotel instead of going back to Shenzhen, where I was living. So I go to the hotel and uh, when I get there, my agency kindly asks me to send them a picture of my skin. So I send them this. They were shook. And I know I was supposed to tell them in advance and I know, but I just don't know what happened with my brain, why I didn't do that. My agency was not happy with this situation at all, uh, but they were still quite nice to me, which I appreciate. And they told me that once I finish my jobs in Guangzhou and go back to Shenzhen, they will take me to the dermatologist to get my skin checked out. So my agency and I, we thought that this job was going to be in Guangzhou, but actually it was like three hours away from the city. Um, so it was going to be a long day. Yesterday my biggest problem on the shoot was that it was really hot, it was like 30, 30 degrees and I was just sweating and it was really bad and it was really sunny also like I could have gotten like a sunburn or something. And today I'm having the exact opposite problem, it's really cold, it's around 20 degrees but also it's very windy and the wind is really cold so I just hate the cold so much. Hey. Okay, so once I came back to Shenzhen, um, one of my bookers from my agency and me, we went to the hospital to get my skin checked out. So in the hospital, uh, they did some tests on my skin, like on the surface of my skin and also some blood tests and prescribed some meds, uh, a lot of meds actually. So there was like one or two weeks when I was taking so many pills every day and I think it didn't even do anything, but there was one cream out of like five. Uh, that was actually helping a little bit, but that was not enough. So there is really no interesting ending to the story. Basically, um, around five-ish months passed after this, I think around five months, and um, my skin is looking pretty good now. Um, like now I'm wearing makeup. It's so much better than it used to be. So now my biggest problem is like acne scars, but I'm working on that. The thing is that I didn't really do anything special to stop this like spread of acne. Um, I just, I still don't know what happened, like what caused it. And I've talked to some models who said they also had the same problem when they were modeling somewhere abroad. I don't know if modeling caused this, the makeup maybe, the stress, I have no idea. But yeah, that's I guess the end of the story. One of the reasons why I had to leave China was because of my skin. 
um, because it was getting really bad. Um, it kind of ruined my trip. So yeah, it was a bit of an unfortunate turn of events for me, but um, I guess things happen for a reason sometimes. So yeah guys, it is what it is and life is just not perfect, unfortunately. But things like that maybe make it more interesting. Hmm? I'm glad this happened to me, because if this didn't happen I would have been quite bored, but now that this had happened my life became so interesting. <laughs>